Hello and welcome, Paul Emana, Chairman and CEO of Capgemini. Now, the group has just announced its full year 2018 financial results. Can you share some of the highlights with us? It has been a really good year. And uh, again, we could beat the guidance and we could jointly grow our market share, grow more than the market and improve the profitability. So it's a demonstration of the strong positioning of the group in the market and it's a good base to perform in 2019. And how does that translate in numbers? So first point on the top line, the revenue. We have reached 13.2 billion. It's a published figure of 5.4, but actually if you look at constant currency, our growth reaches 8.1. This is significantly above the guidance we gave in last February, which was six to seven. We raised it twice and we even could overperform. So very good performance. And uh, that was helped by the very accelerated rotation of the portfolio. The new digital and cloud now reaches 45% of the total group revenue. This is quite impressive. We were in the low 20s uh, three years ago, so a rapid rotation. And uh, we should strive and we will pass the 50% mark next year. Second point, some superb results. I'm proud of the US where we had a solid double digit growth, notably thanks helped by some acquisition. But in the US, we overperform. In France, we we deliver more than the market growth in Germany, a double digit growth, a very good year indeed. As I said, uh, we could combine that with a good margin performance. We now reach 12.1, which is what we had committed for, getting nearer to the long term objective of 12.5 to 13. And last but not least, the cash flow, the free cash flow generation is excellent reaching 1.16 billion, which is there again above the guidance. So a very solid year. So a good performance in 2018. How do you see the market evolving in 2019? So I, I listen to all news from all region. The fact is we feel a strong appetite for technology investment. It's driven by the digitization of the economy. It's driven by the cloud adoption. The cloud has become the new norm in technology. And it's also driven by something a little less positive, which are some fears about cybersecurity that lead to additional investment. So three big engines to which I would add that some clients are concerned about their cost base. And technology is indeed a very strong lever to reduce the cost base and improve cost competitiveness. So solid driver for what should be another good year. And how is Capgemini ready to really take on this market and seize these opportunities that you mentioned? We had announced a year ago that we have selected two main priorities. We mandated my two COOs, Chief Operating Officer, to take care of these two priorities. Ayman Ezat is in charge of the go-to market. We change a little bit our organization so that today our account manager addressing one account have to sell and will sell and start to sell all the group ammunition, all the group offerings to the same account, which is a growth driver, a very dynamic growth driver. The second chief operating officer, Thierry Delaporte, is in charge of accelerating the portfolio rotation. So, he has put some focus on seven strategic offers. He has pushed four alliances. And he is certainly behind the strong momentum that we record on all our portfolio initiatives. So that works pretty well. And I will not forget the wonderful energy and dedication of our 210,000 colleagues. So you've just spoken to us about the importance of unified go-to-market, about accelerating portfolio rotation within the group, and of course the 210,000 people who make up Capgemini today. But how is Capgemini planning on attracting and retaining the right talents in the future? To attract and retain, I would just say being a global firm with a global reach is quite attractive. But what I think personally is that if you task them to deliver demanding work, for demanding clients, these are the kind of engagement that build a curriculum, that build a career, and our people are sensitive to that. 
to which I would add the new energy we have put on our corporate social responsibility. Three pillars, sustainability, diversity, and digital inclusion. I'd like to insist on that one because being a digital company, pushing for digitization of the economy, we had to take the challenge of bridging the digital gap, the digital divide. So we want to make all our colleagues architects of a positive future by embarking them on many tasks to, to reduce that gap, to reduce that divide. And they are extremely sensitive to that, extremely motivated and showing a big enthusiasm on that priority. So a very strong 2018, lots of opportunities ahead, exciting times. We are approaching 2019 with a solid optimism. Paul Lamelin, Chairman and CEO of Capgemini, thank you.